Hampshire's chances of Division 1 survival took a turn for the better on day three at Edgbaston in spite of an unbeaten 77 from Ian Bell. After a whirlwind day's cricket at Edgbaston on day two, Warwickshire knew that a big innings with the bat could secure them a rare win, but they lost open a Banks cheaply, falling for 14 off Edwards bowling. Things would need to happen quickly for Hampshire if they were to get a result out of this game, and they took the wicket of the handy Sibley next. He fell to Holland for 13. Allsop behind the stumps was seeing a lot of the ball, and he took his third catch of the day when Trot edged Berg behind for 20, continuing his iffy time with the bat. Hampshire had the wind in their sails and managed to dismiss next man in Lamb for a duck. He was at the crease for 11 deliveries before Berg trapped him in front, Warwickshire four down for 65. Things got even better for Hampshire, and Berg had his second wicket in four balls when Ambrose edged him to Adams for a duck, displaying how difficult a surface it looked to bat on. On the stroke of lunch, Warwickshire lost another, handing the momentum firmly to the visitors. Abbott managing to nip one back and dismissing Thompson for 24, Warwickshire 95 for six at lunch. The visitors would have been hoping to wrap up the host's tail as quickly as possible in the afternoon session, and they immediately took another wicket. Abbott clean bowling for Tell with the first ball after the restart. This brought Wright to the crease, and he offered some brief resistance alongside Bell before being run out going for a quick single, meaning Warwickshire were eight down with just 114 on the board. The end was nigh for the home side, and it wasn't long before Hannon Dolby's middle stump was sent cartwheeling for just nine by Edwards. Bell was watching his remaining partners desert him, and having brought up his half century, he was seemingly the only man offering any resistance. Side bottom was the last Warwickshire wicket to fall in a valiant innings, and when Holland had him trapped in front for 13, the home side's lead was 259. Bell left high and dry on 77, having carried his bat. For Adams and Allsop, the job was simple. Bat as long into the day as possible, and with rain forecast, they looked to get the scoreboard ticking over early in the innings. However, Adams could only manage four before edging Hannon Dolby to the slips. Hampshire were 20 for one when the tea interval was called, rain setting in during the break, and despite the vital nature of the contest, no further play was possible on day three.